this question has come up before. People have asked me, like, how do I stack Anarchy? And um, for the most part, if I'm mobbing or just doing random missions, I mean, I'll just build it up in-game using an, a Legendary Anarchist uh, class mod. But um, if I'm specifically going for bosses, then, um, you know, I do use Cheat Engine just because testing builds and what not against raids and going back to Pete's bar every time something doesn't work out is a hassle and significantly hampers my ability to produce videos in a timely manner. So um, first you want to do is of course get Cheat Engine. Um, you don't need any tables with this, just Cheat Engine, but first um, let's start up the game. Since there is a method for doing this. Okay, so obviously you want to push play. Bet, bet no one knew that. Yeah. And let your game start up. Ba ba ba. Make sure it's really loud. I'm really tired today, too. I really need some coffee, or a beer, or something. So... Let's see, um... Yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Um, just so no one mistakenly joins. <laughs> Oh god, why am I here? <sighs> okay, I thought I had left that sink. Apparently not, though. Um, anyway, just, you know, a low mag Jacob shoddy works fine here. What you want to do is, um, once you're here, go ahead and pause your game. After BL2 has started up, go to Cheat Engine and load it up. What you want to do is right here in this little computer button thingy, um, select borderlands2.exe. Um, now this is the important part. You want to change the 4 bytes uh, value type to float, since, you know, anarchy is a floating value. So once you do that, go back to your game, and change your class mod to something a little better. Like that works. Um, yes, sir, why not? Okay, what you want to do, go in here, and just, I don't know, like, shoot something. Okay, you've got 26 energy, and you don't want to get killed while you're doing this, so kind of escape back here. Escape, you know, pausing the game, search for that exact value in decimal. We'll do an initial scan, and these are all the addresses that have a 26 value to it. Okay, we don't want to edit all those because that's a hassle, so go back to the game. Go back up, down, or where, wherever you are, and just, you know, just here, do that. Okay. Now you've got 28. Pause it again. Search for 28. And here we go. Um, it's going to give you, you know, a list of a few addresses. Um, this is advice I got from Havoc the Fourth. Again, thanks for pointing this out. But um, there will always be two addresses that are extremely similar. What you want to do is edit the top one. Right click, change value. Um, I don't know, 355. Why not? That'll change that to 355. Go back. And there, look, we've got 355 stacks. And that's, I mean, really all you do, you know. Look, non elemental weapons, like, totally don't blow. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd guide that, you know, like, show people how to do that since I've had some questions about it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, any, <laughs> any gauge players that are on console, I strongly recommend you coming to PC. 
um, is a lot less of a headache unless you're dealing with um, opiate raids, in which case you're going to have a headache anyway, but less so on the PC. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys again.